so right now we're in San Francisco. I got the Pentax 67. We are pretty close to the Golden Gate Bridge, but you can't see it because all of this smoke from the fires are covering everything. On my Gordon Parks, on my, uh, on my, uh, name I forgot his name it's a photographer who only takes one picture at each location you can't overdo it's it it's not Tyler <laughs> nah that's not Tyler <laughs> love Tyler's work though but it's not Tyler they may take offense to my sweater I know, I was yeah take, damn you got the shirt on too yep you want to change the chair this way no <laughs> so right now I have on my you gotta film film my face, man. You be filming low. I got my hoodie on, so I'm gonna take it off because I wanna shoot the biker game. And uh, shout outs to my boy City James. We gonna get some hard slow-mo in the gimbal with that, but I'll switch it. Thank you guys so much. If I didn't change that hoodie, I would probably be over there. Give them a look. You want them all in a line? That would be sick. Cool. Give it a little licky licky. Put it up in there. So I usually don't like Portra. I'm um, not Portra. I love Portra. That's all I really shoot on. But I had a bad experience with Fuji Pro 400H the first time I ever shot it. And I bought a pack, a box, and that's all I shot on. I had this left in my fridge and I felt adventurous. So I was like, why not? I'll take it with me, see what happens. I know that it makes reds and I think greens. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, comment below. Uh, reds and greens like are prominent with this film stock. And I really like this forest vibe. I'm gonna try this last film roll of Portra. Why do I keep saying Portra? Fuji Pro 400H. model for today we're gonna be shooting in this forest it don't even look like we're in San Francisco your mouth kind of open like that yeah <laughs> like this <laughs> All right. like this <laughs> who did what's that from <laughs> <laughs> Cool, we got it. I think we got it. This is a really dope house, but I also like how they have that Black Lives Matter flag hanging. I can't see through this mug. This is weird. Dang. What? I'm trying to figure out what happened. So right now, I'm having some difficulties with this thing. I can't, the viewfinder is black. I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste this exposure on Julian. Okay guys, so I just figured out what happened. 
and I've, the funny thing is I've watched a lot of videos with this issue so I accidentally hit the mirror lockup switch so what that does is once that mirror lockup switch is activated you can't see through the viewfinder because the mirror is up and usually when you take a photo it goes up comes back down instead it stayed up so I had to waste a shot on this man right here tried to get that uh, flag at the perfect time we'll see how it turns out <laughs> so we are on the corner of Divisadero and Golden Gate. It's a dope barber shop over there. Uh, Chicago's Baba Shop. And I like how they got the old school chairs sitting out on the sidewalk. I think it can make for a good picture, so we'll see what we get. What's going on y'all it's day two we are still here in san francisco right now it's super gloomy and smoky out here still but it feels amazing we're going to be going to oakland today so we're going to cross the golden gate bridge get a different scenery get some different environment um and yeah hopefully we get some dope pictures out of it you having a hard time there buddy no i'm just trying to pack the car the right way so it's not just moving everywhere while you drive. Yeah. Check that do-rag out though. I just loaded up my camera with Portrait 400. I'm about to hop out and take a picture of this cool little stop market on the corner right here. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Let's move on. We in East Oakland right now. We about to shoot the homie rail. I like the vibe out here, so you already know. You know I get down in these vibes. I loaded up some Porsche 400 and the Pentax 67. We gonna get some Porsches of them. Just a couple, just one or two shots. Cause uh, I only have three exposures left and I only got one more roll of Porsche 400 for the trip total. So we gotta make this count. All right, so let me, I'm gonna get you right here. And just give me your profile so like stand just, just straight facing that way. Put your head, look down a little bit. Yeah, just like that. Stay just like that. Keep your eyes closed like that. Oh shit, it's a car. Damn. That's just hard. Alright. <laughs> But at the top of Keller, bro, I could be right here, and you can see like all of that like behind us. It's probably like seven minutes from here. Bible. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we going to Keller. Yeah. 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 Look, look out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we just shot, I think, our last shot in Oakland. Um, been a good trip. We're about to head back to LA. 
appreciate you for showing your boy around. Yeah, you already Good know, shit. Man. You know what I'm well, saying? So we got some fire yeah. photos. You already know. Yeah. And I'm going to send them to y'all as soon as I get to LA. Yeah, man. But yeah, we definitely going to be coming back to Oakland for sure. Got to. Yeah. Got to, man, though. The Bay Area was so much fun, man. I got to explore San Francisco, explore Oakland, eat really good out there. It's crazy how different San Fran is from, from LA. It reminds me of like New York, oddly enough, but it was really good time. I, as y'all saw, I took the Pentax 6-7 out there, got crazy with it. One thing that messed me up, so is. As y'all can see, I'm not sure. I got the Epson V600, so I scanned all of my photos myself, and I noticed a lot of my photos had that Newton ring, and I've been experiencing this, like on and off with my scans. I got the glass, so I'm not sure. If y'all know anything that could help that out, please comment below, tell me, because I refuse, unless I have a picture that I want printed or something like that, like I refuse to get a ton of images scanned at the lab, like that's just unnecessary money. But yeah, I want to get rid of that because that is really irritating when you on Photoshop or when you're on whatever you edit on and you have to try to get that Newton ring out, like it's such a pain. But aside from that, I think that I got a lot of cool photos. The Fuji is tricky. I wasn't dissatisfied with the images that I did on the Pro 400H, but would I use it again? Uh, I don't know. It's just not my favorite film stock. Portrait all the way. I wanna try Ilford um, because I haven't done too much black and white. This trip was really fun. I enjoyed running and gunning with the Pentax 6-7. Oh yeah, before I forget, Shout out to my boy 712 who produces a lot of the beats that I have in my videos. Um, I will have his Instagram and his YouTube linked below. So go check him out if you're looking for some sounds. Dope dude. So if you guys could comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, that will really help me out as I'm trying to get this thing off the ground. Like I said, the videos will get better, the content will get better, and we just going up from here. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see y'all next time.